you do get some funny looks. I think it, with any camera, like you get funny looks if you're hanging about, taking photos. I got into it like a year and a half ago, if give or take, I don't know when it was exactly, but it sort of weren't getting much traction. Film was, it was sort of, uh, it was starting to rise a little bit uh, when I got into it. And then you see like people on YouTube such as like Willem Verbeek and Matt Day and Negative Feedback sort of spring up out of seemingly nowhere and sort of get a really large following. But it's, it's really weird because I don't know where it came from, really. Like, I got into it and then three, like, six months later, there were people on train with film film cameras. And you'd not, you'd not seen that, like, I'd not seen that before. I think it's nice to interact with something and, like, create something that doesn't involve, like, a screen. Whereas if you do the whole process, start to finish, on a, on a film camera, it's an analog experience. I, I don't think I can really claim to be actually any good at taking pictures, but um, there was one in, in Bratislava that I took, and it's like um, there's some sun coming in, and there's like a wall, and like an old light, and then there's like a figure of a person, and there's like a shadow. Yeah, I like that one. Um, yeah, certainly now it's more of an established niche, I think. And um, like I say, if you look at the prices of certain cameras, they're clearly very in demand. Um, and that's, that's, that shows that it's grown quite a bit. When you specify that you shoot film, it's sort of a why. It's sort of, you always get questioned why. Like why what's the point? It's certainly a draw for me, and I think it's a draw for a lot of people, that it's a lot more tactile and engaging than, a, say, a digital camera where you can just hold your shutter down and just rattle off 100 shots. But I'm very conscious that I'm spending money on each roll, and I've got to spend money to get it developed. So if I'm going taking photos here, there and everywhere, it's most likely going to come out disappointing because I'm not taking my time and I'm not thinking about what I'm shooting. I think it's a lot more beneficial to start on a film camera, but that's my own personal opinion. A lot of people get into film for the, like, the aesthetic and the look, and like, I think the colour in film is so unique. It is sort of ironic that you're putting all these analogue, old-style old photos on on like a digital platform on the internet, like on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you want to, to put them. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's just art. Like it's, it doesn't matter where you hang a painting, it's still a painting. Like it, it doesn't matter where you put your photo, it is still a photograph. It doesn't matter what you've taken on. My favourite camera is probably the Pen F. I think the reason why is because it's just it's such a, a sexy camera. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's, it, it's similar, actually. It sounds weird, but it's similar. It feels like a gun. It feels like a... It's really quick and like, snappy. Got a really nice shot of, uh, of a Texaco petrol station. And that's probably my favourite photo out of the, out, that I can think of out of the bunch. I've also got one in black and white, uh, which I don't really shoot that often. Uh, of my mum looking through some photos. That's a nice one, but that's more like personal.